rational expressions. I know that this uh, this is a tough question for a lot of my students, so I wanted to make a video to show how this works. Um, we're going to add or subtract. We've got actually both of those going on here. I hope you see we have addition and subtraction going on here um, of these rational expressions. But before we do any adding or subtracting, all of the denominators have to be the same. And obviously, they're not right now. I've got three different denominators. So to figure out what my LCD is going to be, let's first factor as much as we can each of these denominators. Well, t plus 5, I can't factor that anymore. And t is just sitting there by itself. I can't factor that. But this denominator over here, I can simplify a little bit more. And if I yank out a t, if I factor it out, I'm left with t plus 5. Okay. So now can you see what the LCD is going to be for all three of these fractions. I hope it's a little bit more visible to you. All right? So the LCD for all three of these fractions is going to be, let me slide this down, it's going to be t and t plus 5. It's going to be t and t plus 5. Sometimes when I'm in class, I actually skip this step. I mean, if that's going to be my LCD, I might as well just write one big fraction with only one common denominator, the, the lowest common denominator on the bottom. But I'll show you the intermediate step in this video here. All right, so here's what I've got. I've got my LCD, which is both the t and the t plus 5. They are different. They're not the same kind of a t. And then here's the thought process. You're asking yourself, what do you need to do to this denominator? Let's tackle the first one. What do we need to do to that first denominator to make it look like the LCD? Well, I hope you notice it already has the t plus 5. See that? So the only thing it's missing is the t. So if you multiply the bottom by t, you also must multiply the top by t. Right? We're essentially multiplying this fraction, the original fraction here, by 1. I'm writing 1 as t over t. So my new numerator is going to be, the new numerator here is just going to be t squared. Same thought process here. What do we need to do to this t to make it look like this denominator here? Well, it's missing the t plus 5. Well, if I do it to the bottom, if I multiply the bottom by t plus 5, I must also multiply the top by t plus 5. Here's where things get a little bit tricky, because that is a FOIL problem up top. Right? That's a FOIL problem. But no problem. You're probably your experts at FOILing. 9 times t is 9t. 9 times 5, that's just a positive 45. Right? Let's do the inners. Negative t times t is a negative t squared. And negative t times 5 is a positive, oops, sorry, it's a negative 5t. I knew that. All right, so that was it. That's my new numerator right there If after foiling. That was a little foil action. All right, and check out this last fraction. Do you see that this denominator here is already the same as the LCD? And since it's already the same, you don't have to do anything to its numerator. We're just going to bring that on down. Now, keep in mind, this was a minus sign right here. So I've already got the minus sign there. Watch out for that. So I'm just going to bring that 25 right on down. I don't have to do anything to its numerator, because the denominator already had the LCD. OK, so um, I'm going to clean up these three fractions. Since they all have the same denominator, I'm just going to write the fraction once. One big happy fraction here with the LCD, right? This is my LCD right here. And that doesn't change. When you add or subtract fractions and you have a common denominator, it stays the same. So now let me clean up all of this top stuff. All my numerators I'm going to combine by writing it as t squared plus 9t plus 45 minus t squared, let's see, minus 5t. And that minus sign goes with the 25. Do you see that right there? So that's minus 25 at the very end. That minus sign goes with it. All right, uh, let's see. Is there anything I can do to the numerator to kind of clean it up a little bit more? Oh, yeah, take a look at this. This t squared and that negative t squared, they cancel each other out. And 9t minus 5t is 4t, right? I'm adding the like terms here, right? I'm adding them, not, not multiplying. I'm adding the like terms. And 9t, take away 5t as well. Then you're left with 4t. And 45 minus 25, well, that's just a 20, right? So I'm going to, I'm running out of room on the sheet, so let me start another one here. I'm going to write my numerator now as, write my numerator as uh, 9t minus 5t is 4t. And 45 minus 25 was a 
positive 20. And I still have this LCD, this common denominator of t and t plus 5. OK, now, I technically would be done, except that, remember, we were told to simplify our answer as much as possible. So do you notice that these two terms up top in the numerator have something in common, the 4t and the 20? Hey, you can factor out a 4 from both of those terms, leaving you with t plus 5. My denominator was already t and t plus 5. And to simplify, hey, look at those two parentheses. They're exactly the same. We can cross these guys out. And our final answer is 4 over t. Isn't that pretty cool? All three of those big fractions shrunk down to just 4 over t. Hope that helps.